Welcome Shuko and Tin Toy fans, this is the Tin Meister, and welcome to part two, the final part of our series on repairing the Shuko Examico 4001. Okay, so in this car we have uh, no front wheels, and it looks like at least one of the steering knuckles is broken, this one here, so we'll have to put on it some new uh, steering knuckle or we can use these off the car we took it off. Oh, they already have the steering knuckles on them, so we're in good shape. But what we need to do is take this part apart, uh, take these parts, the steering mechanism apart, so we can get in and take these knuckles out. Okay, let's do that right now. Go in, and we will bend these tabs back. And then this piece comes out. Hopefully we can do this without taking the whole part, car apart. So although this is a broken uh, knuckle because it doesn't have the little tab on the end, it needs to have, the one is broken off here. Make sure, make sure when you buy these that they come pre-drilled with that hole that holds the axle. I have purchased them before some, for some part suppliers and you get them and there's no hole drilled there, which makes it really difficult to use. So these are broken. Uh, there you go. And this part on the Examico, which helps the steering uh, mechanism work, is very hard to find. And a lot of times you'll find in the Examico this is missing. And if that's missing, it's, this part's probably at least $25 just for that little piece of metal. And it, most of them come from Germany, so it takes a while to get them anyway. So we were just going to replace uh, the front wheels on this chassis, but then I took a look at this chassis, this, the spare chassis, and then this one that came with the car, and this looks a lot better to me. So I think we're going to replace, we're going to use this uh, bottom plate, this chassis, and transfer all this stuff over to this one. So first thing we're going to do there's a little spacer thing here to hold it up. We're going to put on the front wheels. So, where are those wheels? There we go. And again, it doesn't make any difference on which wheel you use. They're both they're identical. There's not a left and a right. So you can see what I've done here. I put on these two wheels with the knuckles and then put this cross piece on there. And then I take the pliers and bend these back a little bit. Not a lot, just a little bit. And that'll hold it in place. Okay, now to transfer everything over, we've got to take this uh, steering wheel off. And I found a kind of a clever way to do this. You need curved pliers and maybe some straight pliers. Too curved is fine too. So you hold. You hold the steering column like so, and then you, this one you just pull up. One of them you just, this one you hold very tight. The other one you just slide up and push that steering wheel off. And there you go. Okay, so now we're going to install the steering mechanism. And there's a certain order to do this. It makes it much easier if you do if you follow this order. 
We take this part, which we talked about before, and you slide it into the top of the steering knuckles. You have to turn the wheels a little bit to make it fit. There we go. Oops. And there it is. That part is in. Now there's another little hook part. Looks like that. And that hooks onto the bottom of that piece. There's a little slot there. And you hold it up with your hand. You take your steering column, you put it through the hole at the bottom here, and you slide it through that uh, little hook part. If you don't follow that procedure, it is really hard to put this thing together. So I really suggest that's what you do. So the next part is we're going to put the, um, the front bulkhead on, the firewall. That fits on little holes in the front right here, it turns the corner. I'm making it look much harder than it really is. There we go. See it goes those angles right. And you want the steering column to go through there. The shifter was already on there. And then you slide it onto the tabs right here. Put your thumb on it. Make sure that the governor is free. Sometimes it gets stuck in there. And we can put the steering wheel back on. Sometimes we'll use a little hammer to put that on. But I just for now, I'm just going to hold it on, push it on a little bit. And the next thing is take your motor, slide it through those holes, and there we are. It's assembled, but now we have to tighten it up. You want to make sure it's flat onto the chassis. these a little bit oh, there goes our steering wheel Nice and tight. And we're going to push the tab on the firewall down. And that should be good. And now I'm going to go put the steering wheel on for good. I'm going to tap it on. So I'll be back in a second. Well, Shuko fans, that was quite a challenge, but we've got two very nice Examico. Uh, made in US zone Germany cars right here. Everything works. The front tires are on the cars as we as the client wanted. All the shifters work and the cars have been cleaned up and they're ready for another 10 or 20 years of action. So before we say good night, I'd like to ask you to send me your requests for any videos you'd like to see about Shuko or Tin Toys. 
So after repairing these two cars, we have some parts left over. And again, never throw away parts. Thank you very much, Shuko fans, Tin Toy fans. This is the Tin Meister. Thanks for tuning in. And please give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed these repair videos on our Examico. And please consider subscribing. Remember, it's free to subscribe. Thanks, everyone. Good evening.